Hi, my name is Spencer Ingley from the IndieFish development team, and in this video I will show you how to uh, build a TPS file from images using TPS Util. <clears throat> to find this program uh, in Google, you can just search for SUNY Morphometrics, and the first option that comes up here is the correct page. Uh, so once you get to this page, if you navigate to the software page, under utility programs, you will find TPS Util, and here you can download and install that program on your machine, and you're ready to go. Uh, so these TPS files are used throughout the the process, uh, throughout the AnyFish process, uh, when creating your anim animation. They're, they're used uh, to uh, warp your or transform your photos to to match the the templates that are provided by the program using TPS Transformer. Uh, and also they're used to set the shape of your actual animation in the AnyFish editor. So these are important uh, throughout the process. Uh, so once you have TPS Util downloaded and installed, uh, open it up and you'll see that here there's under the operation uh, box there is a drop down menu with a number of different uh, uses here. So TPS Util is a, a, a broadly useful program in Morphometrics uh, but in our case, all we're interested in doing is building a TPS file from images. So select that operation, and under Input Directory, uh, navigate to the, the folder that contains your images, and double-click on one of those images. In the Output file, this is where you actually set the name of the TPS file. I've already created one here, so I'm just going to click on it and save over it. And we'll replace it. And then under Setup, uh, if you have multiple images in that folder, you can go ahead and, and check or uncheck whichever images you want to include. In this case, I'm including both images, so I'll leave those boxes checked, and I will click Create. Uh, the file was already here, uh, so you won't see anything up here, uh, but the file was created uh, and dropped in the folder that I selected, the output folder that I selected. So if you open this file in a text editor, You'll see that this empty file basically came, contains uh, landmark LM, which stands for landmark equals zero, the image ID, and it contains that, that information for each of the images you selected. Once you go through and digitize the landmarks, this landmark equals will have the number of landmarks that you've actually digitized, and then you'll have the coordinates in pixels for all of the landmarks that you've digitized, and that will be the case for all of the images. Uh, so that is how you create a TPS file from images using TPS Util. In the next video, I will show you how to landmark the images using TPS Dig uh, according to the AnyFish uh, format that we've come up with.